The Greek philosopher Socrates was adamant that we should all examine our own lives, but that can be a very uncomfortable process. One way of making the truth more palatable is to present it with humour, and this is what acclaimed Indian comedian Veer Das has set out to do in the Battle of the Sexes. It's all about the eternal battle between men and women, and I reported to the front line in Josie. Born in India, Veer Das is an actor and comedian who combines humour with insight and intelligence. He first explored the challenging world of stand-up comedy during his student days and then honed his wit in clubs and aboard cruise liners. In April 2003, he returned to India, where he developed a huge following as a funny man who challenges the conventional view of life. The Battle of the Sexes is his latest project, and Zaki was looking forward to entering the fray at a popular Josie theatre. Veer Das is a comedian, actor, writer and director. He spotted the comic potential between men and women and Battle of the Sexes is the result. I'm about to go behind enemy lines, so wish me luck. Hi, my name is Veer Das. You might remember me from uh, this. The richest woman in the to world. date, Veer has some 35 plays, 8 TV shows, 2 movies, 6 comedy specials and over 100 stand-up comedy shows to his credit. Kauteng audiences flock to experience the humour of the man, variously described as one of Delhi's top 10 dream men and India's answer to Jay Leno. The first language in the world was invented by women, it was called motherese. It was a language of gibberish between a woman and an infant. Because women had now lost all of their body hair outside of Punjab. You could be a Nobel Prize winner, you could be a rocket scientist. If there's a baby in the room, hushabha, hushabha, hushabha. Veer, you're equally comfortable in film, television and on stage. Why did you decide to make Battle of the Sexes a stage production? Because a movie plays once and if it bombs on the weekend it's done but with Battle of the Sexes I have multiple weekends to make my money back. The concept of the show is really simple it's that uh, men and women are perpetually not understanding each other, annoyed at each other, frustrated with each other uh, and if you say something you're going to end your relationship so I am your spokesperson <laughs> to bring your respective other or your single self and you won't get into trouble that's the concept <laughs> of the show. What inspired you to develop this comic take on gender relations? The concept of the battle of the sexes is that it always begins with a scientific fact and then goes into outrageous comedies. Women have one and a half times more mirror neurons in their brain than men do which is why you enjoy fiction more than we do which is why we read Sherlock Holmes and you read Twilight. It always begins with that kind of a scientific fact. Now the minute we invented words and we invented nouns, we had to genderize nouns. Certain things became female, certain things became male, alright? Men got basically nothing, women got cars, ships, guitars and natural disasters, all female. You make the point that the show is based on science, why did you take this approach? When you begin it with a fact, you can stretch it that much more and get that much crazier. But if you just set it straight, then I feel like you limit yourself a little. Did you research and develop the show until you felt it was complete or is it still a work in progress? I don't really get to test out material uh, in India because it winds up on YouTube or it winds up on Twitter. Uh, so the first time I do the show uh, is the first time I do the show. And so for the first 15 shows, I'm just going blah, 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 yelling everything to kind of figure out what works, what doesn't work, what do I need to cut and then like 15 shows in I kind of know huh this is nice so I don't like this. So touch with the Battle of the Sexes where I think over 75,000 tickets so far. Now because our bodies are different ladies and gentlemen our vanity is different as well. Women, our fashion is affected by our vanity right. Women can entice you with their fashion to their beautiful body. Men do not have these options. Women have the option of what I like to call TZ clothing. You know, clothing that shows you just what you need to know to realize that there is a beautiful body underneath. You know, just give you a glimpse of cleavage, not the whole thing, just... Yeah. Do you think the battle of the sexes will ever end? I don't think so. I, I think there's such an intelligence difference between men and women, where men are at least three years behind a woman, like, uh, in, in terms of maturity and, and development at any given point in their life. As long as that exists, there's always going to be battle. Now, in India, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have other male sports. We just have one sport in India. What is that sport, ladies and gentlemen? Cricket. If you, make, if you watch cricket, make some noise right now. If you watch cricket, make some noise. Any Americans in the audience? I mean people who don't know what cricket is. Does anybody not know what cricket is? Alright, it's like baseball with talent. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Veer Das. Are you having a good time tonight? Thank you for being here, Johannesburg. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs>
thing I enjoyed most about the show was the, the audience interaction. You expect an Indian comedian to do Indian jokes, but he was so funny. He's irreverent, he's very naughty, and he's such fun and he's so cute. Bringing together a Bollywood star with his blend of comedy, I think is outstanding.